I've always wanted to make my own camera bag, and this is something that I've never ever done before. And uh, I guess if this got posted, then future me succeeded. So there you go. All right, so what is the problem I'm trying to solve here? I love camera bags and I have a lot of them. <laughs> Too many of them actually. And all of them fill different needs. I like all of the ones that I got and I bought them for a reason. So obviously I like them enough to buy them, but I wanted to have a camera bag that A is made by me because that's way cooler. Two, wait, I wanted to make something that felt more like a fashion statement and to make something that fit my style a little bit more. And C, because that's how the sequence is now. I wanted to challenge myself to see if that's something I could do. I've always considered myself somewhat of an artist. And so with that, I actually love learning how to make kind of anything, whether it be embroidery, drawing, painting, music, whatever. And my recent endeavor in the past couple of months has actually been sewing. So this here is my sewing machine. And the reason I got it is that it's actually a hybrid embroidery machine too. Since I love cameras and since I've recently developed a love for sewing, I decided to blend the two. And that is how we got here, me attempting to make my own camera bag. Wow, I talked way too long. Let's actually make some. Okay, I think I finally landed on a design. I wanted something that would be more in the line of a day pack, something somewhat smaller, lighter. I actually was thinking of doing more of a side bag slash crossbody fanny pack style bag. So yeah, let me sh show you what I did. So following the inspiration from my mood board, I actually really liked the design of this bag that I already have. And this particular bag, I actually found in a thrift store 10 years ago for like 20 bucks. Really love these colors. It feels very like retro, I guess. I want like a refreshed retro and realize that that rough size and form factor would be great for my design too. And trust me, this took a lot of workshopping. I even made versions out of paper <laughs> just so I could get this thing right. And for the low, low price of free, I'm gonna give you guys this pattern if you would like to make it too. Actually, it's not free. You should su subscribe. I feel like that's only fair. Now we can actually get to the sewing machine and, and make things. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so um, I forgot to film a lot of progress, so I apologize. But here's how far I got. We have a lid. 
Um, and I decided to add some interior pockets. And I'm using a water resistant zipper. So that'll be like the main compartment, protecting all the goods inside the bag. This is the front pouch area. And um, it looks a little funky right now, but it will actually fold right here, making this kind of like trapezoid shape of the bag, uh, matching the lid, of course. And um, let me show you what those look like together. All right, so yeah, that's um, that's looking pretty good. I mean, half the bag done, but uh, yeah, that's pretty good progress. Got this cute little bugger right here. Get all the batteries and such in there. And then I think I might actually add some Velcro to this pocket right here. So when the lid is like this, or and you open it like this, you're reaching down. So gravity is holding it in place. This is the part I, I didn't think about. When it's closed, all this stuff is just gonna fall onto my camera, which is not ideal. So I think what I'll do is maybe add some Velcro right here or something, and then I'll just hold all the goodies inside that pouch. Let's go. So this is how far I've gotten. Looking pretty good. It's got the back, the lid, looking pretty good. Uh, but I, uh, I made a very bad mistake. Yeah, so that's a thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to undo this whole seam right here. I also noticed that right here, it doesn't line up either. And I'm gonna have to undo all of that. So uh, here we go. All right, so this is how the bag is looking now. Um, obviously it looks kind of awful because it's inside out. But the next step right now, you see all these raw edges here? These are not looking super great. And um, in hindsight, I probably should have done the liner as a separate layer. Uh, the material is so thick now that my sewing machine, bless its heart, cannot make it through all these layers, which is uh, kind of a bummer. I might actually just glue it. Okay, this is incredible. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And is it perfect? Uh, no, there are quite a few mistakes that I've made and um, I don't recommend doing this little corner. I thought it'd be a little cooler to kind of slim it down at the corners, kind of do this little like soccer ball triangle thing here. That was super hard. That was probably the hardest part of this whole thing were these little corners. So in the pattern that I'm giving you guys, I'm gonna recommend you just skip that entirely because that probably isn't worth it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. If you like this video, like it. It actually makes a difference. Do not forget to subscribe for more videos like this and uh, for whatever else you wanna see. I don't know, it's your life. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Th this was fun. All right, bye.